Hello and welcome to another episode here on the War of the Rebellion channel. Today we are going to start a new series where we are going to explore material I covered in my book Liberty and Slavery published by Alice U Press. In the series we are going to look at a number of individuals, migrants from Austria, Hungary, Poland, Germany and Ireland and how they experienced European revolutionary events, how they came to the United States and witnessed the War of the Rebellion, and in a few cases also what they did after the War of the Rebellion. Rudolf Matthias Schleiden was born on the 22nd of July 1815 in Ascheberg by Kiel in the province of Holstein. His family had owned an estate in that region, but unfortunately due to commercial and economic problems, the family very soon after his birth had to surrender that estate and moved into the German Rhineland. His father, to sustain the family, obtained work in Mexico working for a mining company. This is also where Rudolf Schleidens' father unfortunately dies. Rudolf Schleiden himself decided to study law. He was in Göttingen during a protest against the dismissal of the Göttingen Seven, which were a number of professors who disagreed with politics in the state of Hanover at the time. You may know the Göttingen Seven without realizing it. Among them were actually the Grimm brothers. He returned eventually to Kiel, where he finished his law studies, delayed unfortunately by one year of so-called Festungshaft for a duel that he had fought. Once he had finished his law degree, he worked for the customs administration in Copenhagen. The Danish king at the time ruled in personal union the duchies of Schleswig and Holstein. During his time there, he often defended the interests of Schleswig-Holstein and urged Germans to be cautious, but also to watch out against encroachments against the freedom of the duchies. Thus, when in January of 1848, King Christian VIII died and Frederick VII took over, the incorporation of Schleswig, the northern of the two provinces, followed. At that moment, Schleiden decided to leave Copenhagen and join forces with the revolution that was building in Schleswig-Holstein. He was very clear that only an act of aggression on the part of the Danish kingdom would be sufficient for him to join that revolution, which the incorporation constituted for him. Now Schleswig-Holstein's provisional government claimed that it ruled in the name of the unfree sovereign. This gave them legitimacy. Seeking help, Schleiden as a representative of the provisional government went to Frankfurt where the German revolutionary government was in 
session. He achieved German military support, but it was a reluctant one. And throughout the revolution, which lasted until the end of January 1851, Schleiden was a diplomatic representative for the duchies at various places in Germany. Unfortunately, the July 1848 ceasefire, the restoration of hostilities, and then the end of the Stadthalterschaft ended all aspirations of the duchies for independence. As one of the major voices in this revolution, Rudolf Schleiden did not receive an amnesty from the Danish monarchy. Since he knew some of the leaders of the Bremen government from his days in Frankfurt, Schleiden worked to obtain a diplomatic appointment by the Hanseatic city of Bremen in Washington, where his initial duty was to negotiate a new steamship line between Bremen and the United States, and a postal agreement which would sustain and substitute this new trade line. If these brief episodes sparked your interest about the individuals covered, please consider not only subscribing and liking this channel, commenting on this episode, but also looking into purchasing my book, Liberty and Slavery, published by LSU Press.